So, um, since there's enough of us, I guess that we can get to introductions. So, hello. Uh, I am Shinorisu, but if you don't know me, I am a cosplayer, streamer, and content creator, especially here on Dorian. And I usually, if not play, always as the ambassador officially for your favorite Julian Deverek, um, the doctor from um, the Arcana. So, uh, right now... Speaking of the Arcana, there's actually a new event that's going on right now on Dorian. Hey, mozzarella. Um, and it's called the Arcana Love Quest. So it's basically everything themed around the Arcana and the main six love interests. There's going to be trivia games uh, revolving around the lore. And Jack the Rat, thank you so much for the hearts. Uh, there's going to be trivia games involving the lore behind um, the main six characters, so you better know them by heart, because if you manage to play the games, um, you have to know them pretty well. Hey, Julia, thank you so much for the hearts. Um, what basically happens is that um, for every single love interest, there's going to be a trivia game, and uh, the player that actually gets to play the game is going to be the guild master. Now, if you want to learn more about how to become a guild master and lead your group um, to victory and through these games, you can actually go to the Dorian website or you can actually ask questions on the Discord that Dorian has. There's a server for that. Icarus, thank you so much for the hearts. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> basically every guild master is going to play different rounds um, battling between each other to see who knows the characters best. Um, so, of course, if you become one of the guild masters, you're going to be playing together with me. So you're going to actually going to answer my questions about me. And if you know me, I, I mean, I have a lot of secrets, but apparently I'm not really good at keeping them. People are telling me that I'm not a really good liar, which is weird because I did theater. Maybe I need to, I don't know, I'm rusty about it. <laughs> Fluffy Lucifer, thank you so much for the hearts. We're slowly getting up to the goal, guys. Um, but yeah, basically, this is all that there is when it comes to the whole dynamic of the Love Quest event. Now, speaking of Jay Lee and Ansel O'Brien, Ansel of, I cannot read, oh, Ansel of Briarcliff, thank you for the hearts. Sorry. <laughs> my app, my eye patch is not really the best when it comes to reading. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, this is like the dynamic of the event. Let's talk about the prices. Now, there's hearts that you can win during the events. There's, again, gift cards that you can win during the events. The winner, so the guild master that manages to actually win the mm -hmm. ultimate price, is going to become Jack the Rat. Thank you again. Um, is going to become actually either them or their character as the MC if they prefer. Uh, you're kind of guys. Thank you so much for the hearts. We're slowly getting to the goal, guys. So we're gonna have maybe the first giveaway. Azrael, thank you for the hearts. Um, so the um, the guild master that manages to actually win the first prize gets to become the character that is going on a date during the winter ball with their favorite love interest. So let's say that you would love to go on a winter ball day dressed all fancy with me, your dear Dr. Julian Debrek, and uh, you want to either play as yourself or as your MC in the story. Or Ivy, thank you so much. Um, I missed you seeing you as Julian. Well, I'm, I'm here today, my love. Um, so basically, you can decide whether to play as yourself or as your character, and you actually make it to the final um, tale that is going to be released. Fire Phoenix, thank you. Uh, and so you're actually going on a date with your selected love interest. Mind you, that's not the only thing that you're getting as a fire price. Like, I, I know. There's so much going on and it's still not enough. The last thing, the final price is a, here, come closer, come closer because I cannot yell, is a 3D figurine of your love interest. Aranel, thank you for the hearts. Yes, I repeat, a figurine, a, 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 a figurine. Have you seen the videos? Have you seen the posts on social media? 
I I guarantee you, if you go on Instagram,、uh, on the Arcana official、um, account, you can actually see a preview of them. You can you can win a figurine of either Muriel. They released Julian's demo. They released Muriel, and they are fully colored, fully colored. Everybody, can you imagine that? Like, it's not enough. We're having hearts. We're having giveaways with merch cards.、Um, we're having a, a, again、uh, people making it to the final tale with their favorite date. And they're getting a figurine. Like, I don't know what's going on with the Dorian team, but they felt like very generous. If you ask me, maybe it's because we're near Christmas. I don't know. Maybe we behaved very good and we deserve this. But I just know that I'm so excited for you guys. And you can buy them too. Actually, yeah. So they're going to make it to the store. So again, you want to try and win at least one gift card because you can actually buy it. So I'm just saying, if you guys are looking forward to participate to the event and actually get to become a guild master, I suggest you do it now. I absolutely suggest you do it now. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. It's like, yeah, slam, <laughs> slam your card. <clears throat> Queer rat, thank you. You're treating the Arcana fandom really good. That's because the Arcana fandom was really good at itself. If you ask me, that the community over here. Was ignited back like crazy. I love what's going on right now on Dorian. There's a lot of people that are still not on Dorian, and they're acting like they feel like the the,、um, the fandom is dead. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You have no idea. Is live and still kicking very hard on Dorian. And as soon as they find out, done, they're gone. <laughs> It's like, oh my god. It's a whole new like new era. It's like a new whole fandom just get you know brighten it up again for the Arcana and it's amazing. I began my first fantasy sci-fi chapter one to my first book ever. Oh my goodness! Congratulations! If she knows as Julian tells me to do something, I'm going to do it <laughs> now. Now I know I can be very charming and deceiving. Although I wouldn't necessarily suggest to do anything that I tell you do. It might be fun. <laughs> I know I'm very fun to be around,、um, but. Can be also dangerous, <laughs> but other than that. So, hey, Bloom Butterfly, hello. So yeah,、um, speaking of that, how about we play a little game for you guys to actually start to train for the new rounds of trivia games that is going to happen soon. So right now, I started a live stream just to explain to you what's going on. But now let's get into business. Um, how about you guys ask me anything? You can ask me anything appropriate, of course. But let's say that if you were to donate hearts with the intent of asking me something just a little bit more specific, or let's say just a little bit inappropriate, I might answer it. So, literally, you can ask me almost, <laughs> almost anything. The Arcana guys, thank you so much for the hearts. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> hey, we gotta get to that goal, right? The first goal is fifteen dollar gift card to use on the merch store. You can also keep it for later if you want to buy the figurine. If you don't get to win it, just saying. <laughs> Julia, thank you. Let me get my hearts out. I'm over here, like, give it to me. I'll I'll keep it. I'll keep it in my hand, nice and warm. Been experimented with leeches lately, Doctor. I mean, there is many ways that you can actually perform medicine nowadays. But if you ask me, you can never go bad with leeches. Do you know why we use leeches? Actually, <laughs> I don't need to win. I will get the Muriel figure. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, we're determined. Why not? <laughs> Absolutely determined. Hey, Angel. Also,、um, mind you that we're going to have also a drinking game later. Why do you use leeches? So leeches are usually、um, used, well, historically used to draw away blood from、um, the patient, of course. So what happens is that was, I mean, usually in history, it was believed that if you were to draw enough blood 
to get the system to make new cells, new blood cells, it would fasten the whole process and you will regain um, your health quicker because there's a chance of you changing your whole blood cell system way quicker when it's, you know, missing blood. Uh, so that could technically revive your whole system of wealth. And so you, you become healthy again. Apparently, that's what it was believed to do. <laughs> now, if people still use leeches nowadays, I, I mean, not saying that I'm not a fan, but it can be concerning. <laughs> Things were wild back then. Let me tell you, uh, we, we had to use what we had. We had to use what we had because, again, <laughs> it's not like I can do magic like somebody. I don't, I don't know how to do Hocus Pocus. I have to use what I have. So, have you talked to your sister lately, doctor? Um, let's just say that she's been very busy. Um, you know, the whole like, uh, I have a girlfriend right now and I have all these animals to keep for myself and I have to look over my garden and my cat is missing. Um, let's just say that usually I am the one who's very hard to catch up onto. Now she's the one hard to, to find around. So <laughs> Juna likes wild and dangerous, so it makes sense. <laughs> hey, Alec. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Yasmin, thank you so much. <clears throat> it would be funny, a Julian figurine traveling to Argentina. It would be the, the reasons why I want one. <laughs> All of the official Muriel products plush fan. Oh, goodness. I do have plushies. I have Julian's and I have Azra's. You learn something every day. I knew that leeches were used for bloodletting, but... That was about it. Yes, it, it really depends. Um, it, it comes to what um, the doctor in that case believed that the leeches did. Um, there's many reports of so many different things about them. Um, but usually it was made to um, either to draw infected blood or to fasten the process to regain new blood cells. So yeah, here you go. Also, um, since you guys are asking questions... I'm just going to tell you this. You might want to be asking specific questions that I might answer back to. Because, again, you might want to learn about the lore of the character. Now, let's see if you're prepared, you know? You can demonstrate that while we're going to have the trivia games. Uh, but how about we, we do some, you know, repetition over here? Where did you get your doctorate? Um, let's just say that... I haven't been at school specifically. I mean, I've been in Pakra, yeah? Uh, but let's just say that I consider to have gotten, uh, gotten myself, my experience when I was traveling mostly on ships. Um, that's where a lot of the seas is. <laughs> and very specific cases, if not very dangerous ones, can be occurred. Um, so uh, let's just say that, you know how the streets gave me my experience? In this case, the ships give me my experience also my time at war i wasn't at war i wasn't in the trenches however i was one of the doctors back in the trenches so yeah that's um let's just say that school gives you the theory um the world gives you the practice <laughs> how did you get to work at the palace so what happened was that um of course me being a plague doctor that's my specialty plagues and uh, diseases and spreading and everything. Um, I actually moved to uh, Vesuvia to start my clinic. Um, when apparently all of a sudden, I, it sounds like I brought the plague, but not really. Um, it's just that when you see a plague doctor, it's never a good sign. Uh, but this so-called red plague was actually going around. And what happened was that the deer count of Vesuvia fell ill about the plague. And so I, I went to work there to actually find a cure for the deer man and um, stumbled upon some very interesting acquaintances. And uh, I guess you know the story from there. <laughs> when did you leave Nebivon? I was in my early 20s, let's just say. Um, I went to just go and um, finish my school for, you know, to become a real doctor. How would you comfort a partner with body insecurities? Now, let's just say that I'm not the best person when it comes to 
feel comfortable in his own body. I mean, me, myself, I don't have the best reputation for self-image and self-worth. However, I honestly have seen so many bodies, right? I'm a doctor. I, I visit a lot of people. And I can tell you this. A good body is not based on the looks, but on how it functions. As long as you're healthy, as long as you're good, as long as you're functioning just right, that's the best body you could have. It is useful. Therefore, it's beautiful. I don't really care what your body looks like, honestly. You should never care about what it looks like, but how it works best for you. So honestly, what about being insecure? Nothing to be insecure about. And then again, look at me. <laughs> I barely get any sleep. Come on. <laughs> Were you the doctor that amputated Lucio's arm? Yes, that actually happened back in the war. So during the ascension of the dear count of Vesuvia, Count Lucio Montag, um, I actually had to help him when he was still a rookie. He hates me for that. He hates me for calling him that. But back in the day, he was still learning how to become this great fighter. Um, and unfortunately, he had a very bad wound in his arm. So we had to. That's what happens. But hey, he got it replaced with uh, an amazing technology. So, you know, he can cry with one eye. <laughs> As we all say. <clears throat> what is your opinion on the count? Next question. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. On seriousness. Um, I, mm, I find his personality entertaining. Okay. I find his personality entertaining. However... There's some context where it is applied that I don't necessarily agree with. <laughs> Off the record. <laughs> yeah, let's just say that um, if, in a, if in a better context, I could go along with Lucio. In fact, I, I believe that in the early times when I was his physician, uh, we could have gotten along just a little bit. But let's just say that the whole context of him being sick and being the count, having to rule the city who was in this repair and disarray, um, he was uh, very hard to deal with. So, eh. How long did you work with Nazali and did you have to convince them to teach you? Um, let's just say that I have my words, and you know, my ways to convince people and words also. Um, but I honestly think that Nazali was, you know, it's, I mean, they saw my good intentions when it comes to wanting to help people because that's what I care for. I want to help people. I want to be useful. Um, so I feel like after they saw how desperate I was to, to learn that, they were like, you know what? No reason for you not to know how to help someone. So they just said, you know what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> just follow me. Do what I do. Doctor, how old are you? No, that's very unpolite. <laughs> you never ask a lady. <laughs> um, let's just say that I don't like to disclose my real age, but I'd like to say that I am a mature man. I'm a grown-up man. I could be easily in my early or late 30s. <laughs> Was the hanged man nice when you met them? Um, are they ever nice? Describe nice. <laughs> describe, describe nice um because in their bird mind they are nice <laughs> so i wonder what's what's it looking like when they are rude <laughs> i don't know i guess they were patient with me enough at least um i can be very off-putting um but they were patient enough and they, they gave me something like a mark that makes me heal people, so... But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> also, cosplay is amazing. Thank you. If you were a drag queen, what would your name be? <gasps> oh, wow. <clears throat> I mean... It has to have something that involves the word rowdy. Or danger, because I like me some danger. <laughs> Those are important questions. 
Um, hmm. What you think my drag name would be? Did you and Ajwa ever talk about me when I wasn't in the room? Dear Countess, my pleasure to have you here. Hello. Um. Oh, wow. Thank you for the, the Dorian user for the, the hearts. <laughs> I, I don't remember what we were talking about. <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> now, now, Countess, in my defense, we never talked bad about you, only good about your looks, about your mannerism, about your choices in life. I can say that some of them, if I may, I never insult you, but um, some choices could have been just a bit different to benefit you better, but um, you've done a great job so far, so nothing to say about that. <laughs> nah, nah, Mr. Rowdy Raven. I mean, Raven is a name itself, so Rowdy Raven could work. <laughs> Rowdy Ravenna. <laughs> Mrs. Ravenna Plague. Wow. Okay. Fancy. What's your favorite place to relax? In my lover's arms. <laughs> well, either that or a nice, very loud, nasty, some very bad alcohol tavern, something like that. Or it could be on a ship dock or something like that, you know. Just the breeze of the sea just blowing in my hair. You know, the, the smell of salt in the air. A grimy bar. <laughs> That's the way to put it. I try to work with my words to give you the better idea. But sure, we can go with grimy bar. <laughs> How did you met Azra? It was at the palace. Uh, it was back when I came to the palace to work as a physician and a doctor to look for a cure. Oh, dear Countess, thank you so much for the hearts. But you already won my heart. It's okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Julian, coming in clutch with smooth lines. You know me. Dear Kana, thank you so much for the hearts. By the way, guys, slowly getting to the first goal. You see the goal up there, 500? If we get to, one, to 500 hearts, you get to win in a giveaway that I'm doing today. $15 gift card. Is that, is that my sister? Hey sis, hey Pasha. A good thing and bad thing about Portia. Huh, this is Portia that you're talking about. <laughs> a good thing. Well, there's a lot of things that I could say that they're good. I am very proud and impressed, honestly. Um, I can say that one good thing about her is that even though she had a very difficult childhood and a nasty brother who tried to be the parent that they that they missed, um, she grew very heart, you know, very just heartfelt and strong and independent and just fearless. Even better than her brother, if you ask me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's definitely a good thing about her. A bad thing is that she likes to pull my ears when she's angry at me. <laughs> but I know that she does it because she loves me. How long do you plan to stream? Becca, thank you so much for the hearts. How long do I plan to stream? Well, as long as we get to know each other, darling. <laughs> I mean, we can go for hours, honestly. We have a lot to do today. Favorite childhood memory with Portia? <laughs> Goodness, there's many, but I do remember the one when we fended off those brigands who were trying to steal um, from our grandmas. Yeah, it, it, it was um, it was a painful memory, <laughs> but it was uh, an adventure, all right. And we worked together with my sister to actually fend them off. So it was teamwork, even though I got beaten up. <laughs> It's okay. I can take the blame. Aw, thanks, bro. Still butthurt about the whole abandonment situation. I did it for your best. I, I didn't want to involve you in my mess. You know I can be a handful. And then again, you tell me that I am not. Pick a side. Oh, you're picking on me again, aren't you? It's okay. I'll allow it for now. Even though you like to do it all the time. <laughs> 
<clears throat> hey, Draconish. I should, I mean, Ilya. Mm -hmm. I would wink. Actually, I can wink. It's not working, but you get me. <laughs> Jay, thank you so much. Uh, maybe. No, 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 no. You know exactly what you're doing. Is the hanged man accurate? If you know what... Um, I'm looking you from behind my eye patch. Explain accurate. Because we can go into anatomical details, but that could be a whole other thing. <laughs> You're trying, that's what matters. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm trying to work best. I'm, I'm trying, I promise. I talked with your whole Arcana patron, the star, and uh, they told me that I, I've been working on myself and I need to you know, keep going, so. <laughs> oh god, not the anatomical. <laughs> Julian, important questions. How long have you slept in the past 24 hours? Define sleep. <laughs> you mean laying down? Because I've been doing that. <laughs> Accurate invert terms would be one whole of three bodily functions. <laughs> you think stickers are ever going to be added to the store? Actually, yes. Um, not for now, but I know that they're planning to. <laughs> Great questions. When have you slept? <laughs> oh, you guys. <clears throat> Uh, uh, next question. <laughs> Fine, I'll sleep. I'll sleep. It's okay. I mean, eventually I'll just pass away. <laughs> eventually, you know, when I will not have enough water or energies in me. I'm trying to get better at it. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Define sleep. Having your eyes closed and having no thoughts. I haven't been doing that in 20 years, probably. <laughs> Julian, I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> well, that's that's my name, you know. Answer or I'm telling Portia. Okay, fine. Let's just say that I had maybe two hours of sleep. But that's enough, right? Isn't enough? You know, out of 24 hours, you have enough to do everything else, so... I'm sneaking melatonin in your tea. Now, that's a way to pose in my drink, love. <laughs> I love a fixed drink. <laughs> Don't make me call Portia. She, she's already here. She's already on my ass. <laughs> Portia will be mad at you if you're tired all the time. So sleep for your sister. All right, all right. I get the message. Oh, what's your favorite name of yours? Jillian or Elia? Honestly, I don't really mind. Oh, Azra, thank you for the hearts. I don't really mind, um, as long as you don't call me Jules. Don't call me Jules. You can call me any name, honestly. You can call me Jillian, Elia, Darling, Love, Idiot, um, <laughs> anything, honestly, uh, but not Jules. Let's get someone home with merch gifts cards. Yes, guys, we're slowly getting near to the first goal. So come on, <laughs> darling idiot. Julian is basically a bird. Human sleep standards don't apply. Thank you, Draconish. What about singular jewel? Uh, nope. <laughs> Egg, <laughs> thank you so much for the hearts. <laughs> Why don't you like the Jules nickname? I associate it to a person that I not necessarily like much. In fact, they all started this. <laughs> Azra taking us all together to the first goal. Like, hello. Juju. <laughs> Juju is a good nickname. We can go with Juju. Can't birds sleep in the sky? I believe so, but I don't think that's ravens or crows or corvids. Do they do that? I don't know. I'm a physician, not a vet. 
Ansel, thank you. Darling Juju. <laughs> Do you have a nest? Um, I don't because I barely sleep. <laughs> but I can nest. You know, I can pile all the pillows and the curtains and the, the covers and, you know, we can build it up all together. Azra is about to carry the stream with the amount of hearts they're gonna share. I know, you cannot leave Azra to do this alone. Like, come on, guys. There is like almost 300 of us. If one, just at least one, donates just one heart by person, just like that. Thank you so much. <laughs> figurines! <laughs> right, just reminding you. The official figurines of the main six. 3D figurines are making it to the store. So you better want to have those giveaways for the, the gift cards because you can actually use them to buy those. Just saying. Just saying. Does your chest hair fall out forming a brooding patch when you're next? <laughs> Who told you that? It's winter season. <laughs> You gotta stay warm, you know? And I gotta keep you warm, so... I'm actually scared. <laughs> Bombastic side-eye. <laughs> Who's your favorite pet aside from yours? Um, I mean, I love animals, all of them. I love, you know... Okay. I don't want to fray this in a weird way. I love how affectionate Faust can be. However, sometimes she's too much. So let's just say that though I love her to bits, um, I might say that Peppy, <laughs> squeeze, <laughs> Peppy um, is probably one of my favorites. Uh, she's, she's very spunky and she's so soft. I love when she purrs. Love a squeeze. Oh, yeah, I love me a squeeze. What's your favorite long language? Touch. Physical contact. I can give you big hugs if you want. We consent. If you're onto that, I can give you all the hugs that you want. Do you have any opinion on Enanna? A beautiful creature, if you ask me. Very loyal to be a wild uh, wolf, but absolutely a beautiful creature. Very sweet once you get to actually know her. Just like, you know, her dad. <laughs> Just saying, big guy. Hugs are needed in these trying times. I agree. I want to hug you more now. Come over. Come over, I got you. The scene where Julian heals Inanna made me fall for him so hard. I know, I know. It, it was a very beautiful moment. She trusted me so much with that. She could have bit my hand off, but she was like, no, I'm going to be a good girl. That's a very good girl, if you ask me. I hope she's doing all right. Just like her dad, Big Sweetie. It's true. If you know Big Guy, Mountain Man, Muriel, he's tough on me. Uh, maybe he doesn't like me that much, but I like him. You know, uh, we don't necessarily get along, but um, I'd like to get him to know him better, you know, slowly. Azra, again, carrying this freaking goal. And also Julia. <laughs> Come on, guys. Everyone participate. Come on. Don't let them out in the cold. <laughs> There's literally almost 300 of us. If every single one of us ju just donates one heart, just one, the, the minimum is like three, and it's nothing, we get to the goal immediately. I think he thinks you're too loud. Yeah. Fluffy Lucifer, thank you. Just like that. And Ansel, thank you so much. I have zero hearts. It's okay, Draconish. You have your own, and it's enough. Look at that. All right, we're making it rain. <clears throat> By the way, guys, if you don't know how to get hearts without spending, there's a great way to do that. You can actually invite your friends over to the app. You can copy-paste your own code over here, right? You can, you can copy-paste the code on your profile. And you can leave it uh, with your friends, and if they download the app from there, you get hearts from that. Just like that. What's your favorite musical? Anything that holds jazz in it. Very smooth jazz, you know. Rhapsody in Blue, if you know that one. Oh, that's very good. 
You like jazz? Absolutely. Smooth jazz. It's one of my favorite things. What's your thoughts on your reversed ending? It's bittersweet. Romantic and bittersweet. Wait, is it canon <laughs> that I like smooth jazz? Yes, absolutely. Um, but if I have to suggest you one, um, I'd say Rhapsody in Blue. If you haven't heard this piece, it's great. Trust me, honestly, even off character. <laughs> Try and hear Rhapsody in Blue. It's very good. There's also a Disney short movie animation based off of it. Exactly. And that's why that's why I'm mentioning it, because it's from a Jewish composer, because we all know that Julian is actually inspired by um, Jewish culture and background. I'll check it out. Julia, it's so good. Trust me. Watch it. Listen to it while you're watching the Disney short movie. It's it's amazing. Trust me. Cherry, thank you so much. Thoughts on the musical Hamilton? Dramatic. Very dramatic. Just as I like it. And the music? The, the latest cast? Very good. I am loving what they're doing. Favorite dance? Tango, because it gets two to tango. <laughs> I can dance to anything, honestly, um, as long as there's good music and good people. But if I have to choose anything that involves, you know, close touchness with consent, but you know, couple dances, especially tango. Personally, I love your reverse ending, very hurtful. Yes, it's very, um, as I say, bittersweet. It's like, it's very sad, but at the same time, it has some you know, heartfelt um, feelings behind it. So yeah, it's not the worst out of all the others, if you ask me. Jazz, tango, affection, Julian, you sound like a hopeless romantic. Me? I don't know what you're talking about. Where did you get that? <laughs> and that's why we love him. It's crazy how I have real similarities with Julian. I know. I, I <laughs> Let me tell you this. I've been doing my studies on Julian now and then, you know, uh, learning about how the authors actually wrote him. And uh, boy, oh boy. It, it sounded like I was reading my therapist notes, <laughs> which is not a good thing to say in some cases. But, but we all have to heal. <laughs> so... Julian is literally my highest kin. I relate to that so much. Very relatable. Hey, relatable. <laughs> All right, guys, we are half away, if not less than half away from the first goal so that I can give you guys, I can have a giveaway for $15 gift card to use on the merch store. Bring it on. Just like that, Kieran. Thank you. Bro should stop being so depressingly relatable. <laughs> Becca, thank you so much. And of course, I got Jillian in my quiz. I got it too. <laughs> hey, Mistress Luna. If your partner or friend was being harassed by a different patron of the Rowdy Raven, what would you do? Um, honestly, step in front of them and being like, you got a bone to pick? I got plenty. Look at me, I'm so skinny. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> nah, honestly, I'll step in between anything happening. I, I'm not probably the best fighter. I know my ways with sword. I can tell you that. Uh, but yeah, no, honestly, I, I'll be your protective body <laughs> if you have to. <clears throat> Julia, wait, so you choose loose your body <laughs> free will. <laughs> I should take the quiz. Yeah, you should. And then you can actually take a tarot love reading. What if they pick the pelvic bone? Well, it depends. <laughs> it depends who. <laughs> I used the, the which iconic character would date you. Filter on TikTok and screen when I got Junior first try. <laughs> I'm joining Lucio's Guild because I don't want to be dating myself. What? Julia! Out of all them, Lucio? Oh, that's it. That's it. I am... Um, 
Julia, I love you, but I feel a little bit, just a little bit betrayed. Just a little bit. Still love you, though. Yeah, yeah, you can give me hearts. It's fine. I still love you. It's fine. <laughs> Julia coming out as a Julian Kinney was not a thing in my car. <laughs> We're everywhere. All right, guys. Slowly getting there. Come on. Let's get to the first heart goal. I need to be impartial because I'm Osra in this event, but I would pick Julian today. You tell me. <laughs> you tell me. I mean, honestly, I could also go with Osra or Nadia or any anybody aside, you know, from Julia, Lucio. No hate. No hate. If I was Julian, I would be dating myself. Just saying. <laughs> Can you imagine the headaches? Oh boy. Can you imagine the fights? Oh boy. No. No. It could never work. <laughs> Aside from Portia too. No, the, the, I didn't mention Portia for a reason. <laughs> Sheena, when is your birthday? The same day as Nadia. If you know, uh, uh, this, this is actually trivia questions. This is actually trivia questions for other guild masters. So if you know, if you know, I share the same birthday with dear Countess Nadia Satrinava. Yup, I do. It's amazing, I know. <laughs> What's your favorite musical instrument? Um, anything with, uh, what's it called? Chords? I know how to play that. The viello in particular. Mine is March 9, of course. When? So should I say, should I give away this precious info from Dear Countess? By the way, Julia, you're Pisces. We get along for that. Um, because I'm also a water sign. I am Cancer because I am born July 8th. I am born July 8th, just like Nadia. We share the same birthday. You same? Hey! All the Julian Kinneys are Pisces. Yeah, and I have zero Pisces in my chart. Maybe I have a couple planets in my chart who are Pisces, but just a couple. But I'm a water sign, so not so far off. I feel called out. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably one of the you know few Kinneys for Julian who's not a Pisces. Still a water sign, still very emotional because I'm not Scorpio. No offense to my Scorpio fellows over there. Very rare. You're like my mom, Mama Sheena. I am mom. The Cancer is known to be the mom of the 12 signs, so yeah. I'm Taurus with Gemini Moon. Oh, that's why we get along. Water signs go great with Earth signs. <clears throat> I'm a Virgo, like my mother. Scorpio rising, it's intense. Wow. We're not emotional, Scorpio. <laughs> Sagittarius is the only fire sign in my family. One of my besties is a Sagittarius. Love her to bits. If you and your partner were in a show together, what would what would response to your playing alongside wait, what do you mean? We're playing a show together. What would response to you? playing alongside of your partner. Um, Bloom Butterfly, I, I think I'm not getting the question specifically. Can you rephrase that just a little bit? <laughs> I like how people are going out as Julian's AMA. <laughs> I mean, is it really coming out? We all knew. J Julian lovers, we, we, we tell each other, we, we can tell. What do you think of the other main five? Okay, so let's take the count out of the equation. <laughs> Great people to know. Great people to know and to hang out with. Maybe take Osra just a little bit of that equation. Sometimes, sometimes. Um, maybe take also Portia out of the mm -hmm. equation because she can be a lot. Just saying. <laughs> The count is included. <laughs> what? You asked me the question. <laughs> what? 
I had such Julian brain rot. I'm so glad I found Dorian. Welcome. Trust me, you're in the right place. Like, if you and your partner were in a musical together and you both got the leads, what would be your reaction? Oh, to getting the leads? Of not surprised. I mean, look at me. I have such a theater energy. Like, even the face. Like, you cannot see this. Like, You can read my expressions from miles away, perfect for theater. And honestly, with the chemistry that I have with my partner, it's just obvious that we get the lead parts. Dorian is my home that I never knew I needed. That's so sweet, but that's so true, you're right. I've been around for a year now officially, and uh, let me tell you, it's been a ride that I'm so glad I took. You mean dramat? That's the word we're going for. Opinion on Valdemar. <laughs> my least favorite time when it came to learning my ways in medicine. Yeah, I'm not proud of that. Um, again, behind them there was some very weird magic going on involved, but um, that's a whole other story. That's the past that I would like to forget. That's the only part that I didn't want to remember, honestly. I had to, didn't want to. I remember getting the lead role in my first ever musical. I was so happy and excited. That's so nice. We're theater nerds, Porsche. Of course, we're dramatic. Exactly. What's your biggest regret? <sighs> Not being there for the people that I cared for. Um, many times I tried to protect my loved ones by taking myself out of the scene because I thought that I was the problem, when in reality, it was just how I felt. And so many times I would just flee the scene to make it better for them, when in reality, I abandoned them. And I never, you know, listened to what they felt about me in that case. So I learned, I learned from that. I came back, I promise. I took responsibility. <laughs> You're too relatable. <laughs> Crushed my heart. Hey, you're asking the questions. I am answering. Don't take this to therapy, please. <laughs> What would you, your dream role be in a musical? The antagonist. I'm very good at being the villain, if you ask me. To act like the villain, not to be. That's a whole other thing. But to act like one, to pretend to be the villain for once, it's very fun. <clears throat> I forgive you, kinda. <sighs> I love you too, sis. <laughs> My therapist knows about Julian. <laughs> How did the Count bid you a plague beetle? Oh, let's just say that I was already very tired and already sick with all the work that I've been doing to find a cure and to be around Valdemar. And so I was kind of vulnerable in the moment, so... He had, he had a way on me. Also, Voldemort's mm -hmm. eyes are beautiful. They have such long eyelashes. Yes, one thing that I will agree on is that Voldemort has, you know, very nice lashes. We want the formula. Thank you. I spot a cutie. Hey, Adelia. I just joined theater. How would you say you, you deal with stage fright? I'm having a hard time, but I love theater. So a trick, I, okay, so this is Shino speaking. I have stage fright. A trick that sounds so stupid, but trust me, it's what everyone tells you to do and it actually works. Imagine all the, the audience either naked or wearing something funny. It goes away. Not instantly, maybe at first, but trust me, it eases off. If you started a collection, what would you collect? Huh, that's a good, well, leeches? Wait, can you consider that le leeches something to collect? You have different species in my defense. Size, species, color, length, you know, I would say so. <laughs> what would you do if you were changed to a woman for 24 hours? I be honest, I'll trick Ozra. 
I'll, I'll be doing some some pranks to Azra. Maybe I don't know. Try to char him. Why not? <laughs> of course you'd say leeches. <laughs> Does Malik bring you shiny things? Uh, he brings me headaches most of the time. But I have to say, he can be nice, so now and then, he does bring me shiny things. Sometimes it's coin, and I don't want to know where he got it. I promise you, I didn't train him for that. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'd enjoy it! <laughs> what is this Oscar for Julian content? Oh, you're new around here, huh? Oh yeah, you're new around here. <laughs> How did you meet Malik? He he flew onto me one day. Literally. That's I was like, oh, there's this bird following me. And it started to be like, ah! It's like, okay, fine. <laughs> be that way. <laughs> I used to play uh -oh, in piano concert and even then the stage fright was real. I would just immerse myself though and... Oh, through and try and forget the audience was even there, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it works. Absolutely, it works. <laughs> I'll bring you pirate's treasure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Got stuck on your hair and all. Yeah, he loves to make my hair his nest for some reason. <laughs> Malik has big cat energy. He has chaotic energy. <laughs> the cop. If you switch bodies with one of the main six, who would it be? Nadia, of course. And it's not why you would think. I would switch to Nadia to see all the secrets that she gets to hear and see in the court. Because she has power over there. She knows. I won't say Portia because she knows all like the little hiding spots and hallways, you know, secret entrances and everything. But... You know, Nadia knowing the, the political tea, the drama, and all that, that is interesting. That is something powerful to know. Still sounds suspicious that you answered Nadia too quickly. Would you rather say Lucio to give myself another headache? Why not? <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's been one time that I actually not necessarily switched bodies, but my body was looking different. If you know the Majulian. Have you ever heard about the Majulian? <laughs> <clears throat> You're a shapeshifter. Let's just say that I don't have the capability to do that, but I became one. Yes, it wasn't me. <laughs> Your body was looking better? Um, excuse you. Did you hear something? It was coming from down there. Oh, it was you, sorry. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Now, I kind of want to see Lucio making your facial expressions. <laughs> can he pull this expression? I don't think he can. <laughs> this is the body of a killer MC. <laughs> Their body's always looking better. Oh! I mean, wow. <laughs> Tiny but mighty. I stand by that. And by I, I mean Chino. <laughs> hey, sometimes you gotta disguise yourself as your ex. Why not? You can come to learn a lot of things. Because your ex won't tell you. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, guys. Just to remind you. Uh, we are one hour in, and we're still not hitting one goal of the giveaway. When in the past, we made so good. Like, in the past, we had people winning, like, $100 gift card. I'm not even kidding. We gave away um, pillows, uh, plushies, art books, um, prints, uh, t-shirts. We have so many giveaways, and now we're still here. Like, guys, come on. It's There's 400 of us. You can donate the least, which is three hearts, and we will get to the goal. Just like that. Sis, thank you so much for the demonstration. Most of them are probably not good things. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm out of hearts. It's okay, don't you worry, you can still collect them. 
Do you have to be an adult? Because it's it's so that's a problem. No, not necessarily. Not at all. <clears throat> I'm spending all my hearts here. Ah, Karen, thank you. Thank you for the reminder, Azra. So there you go. Like 500 hearts, it's $15 gift card and 1K is 25. We have other goals, but you know, if we manage to get there. I give you all my hearts. Aw, thanks. Support my brother. Get a $15 gift card. Win-win. Oh my goodness, B. Hi. Thank you. I mean, don't worry, I'm not a 10 year iPad kid. It's okay, Valen. Just like how you have my heart. Oh, darling, stop. You already have my heart, it's okay. Okay, so um, speaking of this entire um, event that is going on, the love date, we are on the system to get a love reading. W would you like to do that? So if I go here, look, if I do this, there you go. Would you like to get a love reading? Yeah? Okay, let's do this. All right, so. <clears throat> Allow me. There we go. Come on, darling. Do you want to peek at our future? I know you can't resist a little temptation. Make your choice to find your love reading. Then join me on the Hanged Man Guild. So how many are joining the Hanged Man Guild? Raise your hand. Come on. I don't see your hands. All right. There we go. How do you join again? All the rules are listed on the Dorian website or on the Dorian Discord. You can actually ask questions directly over there. There's going to be people that can assist you. Look at those so many. Oh, I'm flattered. Oh, you shouldn't have. Julia, thank you. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Almost there to the first goal. Come on. Let's get there. We still have time. Bro got me blushing. I know I caught you staring, guys. Okay, so let's get this love reading. Let's see. When you imagine your future with Julian. So when you imagine your future with me, what word do you think of? Other than migraine. <laughs> Other than therapy. Please. <laughs> I never knew I needed a villain prayer. <laughs> Support because we're the same for real. <laughs> so, can I be honest? The first I'm thinking, of course, it is excitement. But honestly, I feel like when I think of the dynamic that I could have with Julian, it's companionship. That's the very like it's it strikes me as the word like companionship and like it's so real like right. I would like to go with companionship, but you can vote whatever you want, of course. Let's be honest, we'd be each other's therapist. <laughs> yes, and we love that. We love a couple that knows how to communicate and bring the best of each other out. <clears throat> and yeah, if this is your love interest reading, then you shouldn't be doing extra. <laughs> Look, I got this on the system. I don't make the rules. Also, who? Uh, since when you're my love interest, Azra? Are you so sure about that? I thought you didn't like me. Ah, huh. is this your way to confess to me? Oh. Now you shouldn't have. I know you're still thinking about me, but you know you didn't have to tell everybody. <laughs> Here for the drama. <laughs> No, Azra, we love ourselves in this live stream. Period. Just kiss already. Azra, it's not like I like you or anything on the side. <laughs> Such a tsundere. <laughs> the tea is ready to be spilled. Get a room. <laughs> oh, now, now, you know I love a good show. <laughs> okay, so we got companionship. Okay. What trait do you admire in me, darling? I love all your traits, but if you have to pick one from me, what would it be? Caring nature, loyalty, or, I mean, 
I mean, oh, someone is flattering me here. Hey, <laughs> stop. I don't, have, <clears throat> I don't know how to take compliments. <laughs> Imagine how MC would feel. <laughs> I mean, honestly, caring nature is key. And Julian, if you ask me, all of this, but mostly how caring he can be. Sometimes way too much. Sacrifice him himself out of it. <laughs> the, the, Portia, Pasha, do not. <laughs> You're dragging my ass way too much. <laughs> Mind you, I'm very sensitive. I feel very attacked. <laughs> All right, choose a card. I won't be telling you what I'm answering. Because <laughs> you already know. You already know. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. I love you, bro. Love you too, sis. <laughs> bottom like you. <laughs> right, left, bottom. Yeah. Um, I have a reputation, it seems. Not that I don't like it. I mean, if a lot of people knows that I like to be stepped on. <clears throat> I mean, <coughs> what was I saying? Um, <laughs> let's go. Oh, how fitting. Um, <laughs> how fitting. Uh, I um, well, well, isn't that isn't that a surprise? <laughs> what did I say? Oh, shush. You always have to be the protagonist, of course. Of course. <laughs> Get a room! <laughs> all right, all right, we got the magician. Okay, so... Your resourcefulness fascinates him and your ability to bring ideas to life inspires him. You can help him get out of his busy head and come back to reality. Who knows? Maybe you convince him to finally get some sleep. Oh, again with this! Okay. How about... If the MC, right, so if the ultimate guild master of the hanged man gets to be my personal plushie or pillow when it comes to sleeping, I can sleep all day, all night, all year long, if you ask me. Only to that one condition. <laughs> See, even the reading says sleep. <laughs> Julian, if Azra comes with you, will you go to sleep? Uh, um... <laughs> uh to sleep <laughs> we could be sleeping yeah <clears throat> i won't finish that phrase <laughs> anyone here applying to be the julian mc for the trivia games yeah i want to know is anybody over here applying you are oh bloom butterfly i'm flattered you did also ansel hey Please apply. I need a guild master. I'm hearing that um, hollow. So our dear Countess Nadia already got one. So please. How do you apply? Um, there is a, a, an entire process you can go through. Uh, but if you want more info, you can go on the Dorian website. Or if please anyone on the team can assist um, this user. Anytime in the chat. I have clubs. <laughs> I cannot be going and searching for links. You can also check on Discord, yeah. I would, but I'm shy. No, Kieran, don't be shy. We can be shy together, it's fine. I would love to see people applying, please. I will happily apply for our lovely doctor. Oh, that's so sweet. Same here, anything for Julian. Oh, you guys. It's okay, there's enough Julian for everyone. Mavit, thank you so much. And Penny. Okay, we're drawing so near. So near to the first giveaway. Come on, Kaz. Thank you. Goodness me. Oh my god, look at that. We're simping real hard here. <gasps> yes! We made it! Woo! We got it! Guys, that was so nice of you. Thank you. We got the first go! Lily Tolaroki, thank you! Awesome job, everybody. Okay, so we're giving away at the end of the stream, we're giving away 
a $15 gift card to use on the official Dorian store for official merch that you can buy for the Arcana. Or you can save it up for the figurines. Just saying, they're making it there to the store. Or you can apply as a guild master, win maybe the competition and get yours. Just saying, it's a price. <laughs> I forgot about the whole Ajra that I bought. <laughs> what? <laughs> now we have to save Ajra. <laughs> But yes, good job, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay, so at the end of the stream, we're going to be announcing at least one winner. Alistair, thank you so much. But again, if you continue up to the 1K goal, I'm giving yet another gift card, and it's $25. Just saying, there's plenty. You just need to get there. And look at that. The number of hearts that we're missing is actually not even half of the people in the stream. Meaning that if every single one of you, so out of 542, if you donate the minimum of hearts, you guys all collectively get to the second goal. Just saying. Hey, Valen, did you apply? There was a thing on Nadia's stream. If we reach 1K, Ajwa will probably have to fight for survival again. Oh, oh, I would love to see that, honestly. <laughs> Just a little revenge, maybe. You know, for the plot, for the drama. I would love to donate to my own stream, but I cannot. So you guys have to help me on that one, please. <laughs> also, mind you, if you donate hearts every time, you can ask me a private, you know, somewhat appropriate question. Just saying. Keep it good, but I can answer to that. It could be a specific question that you have. Scary. Scary Carol? Care? There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. I couldn't find it. Discord is hard to manage. I'm sorry. Oh, can someone please link it over here? Can someone please get the Discord link? It's easier that way. Or you can go on the main page and there's like the top row with the buttons to navigate to. And you can find Discord. Would you rather be a vampire with major daddy issues or a wizard who isn't over his ex, though he says he is? Oh. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I know this is a reference to Baldur's Gate, but it's so funny how there's a line over here. There's a line over here. That sounds familiar, <clears throat> but I would say vampire, darling, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just because, you know, we get to be very close. <laughs> Like um, on the Discord groups, there are just a lot of them. Or there's there's actually a lot of servers that you can browse, but there is one specifically for the Arcana Love Quest. You can actually see it in the title. If you have more time one day, maybe you'll find it. Don't worry. Astarian Julian, give me all the scrangly traumatized men. <laughs> Hearing references to Baldur's Gate while I'm playing it. I'm multitasking. Oh, all right. Wizard who isn't over his ex. <coughs> <I was right. coughs> yeah, that's a thing. When I find out you cosplayed a certain favorite vampire of mine, I freaked. What can I say? I have a type in men. <laughs> don't bring a star in because I go feral. I don't know what you're mentioning, darling. I would never. <laughs> Although if you'd like to, I can. <laughs> I thought it was an appropriate question for you. Very appropriate, darling. I really appreciate it. Thank you. But thank you. <laughs> All right. Keep it coming, by the way. Keep it coming. Um, so I'm going to give you just like 10 more minutes or so that we can still ask questions. Um, and how about then we get to the drinking game? Egg, thank you so much. I'm dying. Sheena, don't do this to me. What? I don't know what you're talking about, darling. I would never do that. <laughs> Dude, darling is the best pet name. I'm dying every time you say it. Oh, darling. Is that the word that you like? Darling. 
I could go on all night. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. This is the theater kit showing, okay? This is my background in theater, just coming straight forward out. <laughs> We're out of the closet, all right? <laughs> out in the world. If you were playing D&D, &D, would you rather be a DM or a player? Now, as long as I'm very good at making the <clears throat> telling stories, <laughs> um, I would like to be an adventurer. You know, I'm all for the adventure. I'm all for the mystery, all for the chaos, all for the, you know, natural ones that I might occur multiple times because I'm very unlucky. <laughs> so, yeah. Death by the star. <laughs> by the way, I'm hiding in my room from family just for you. <gasps> just for me, darling. Oh, no, that's... <laughs> no need to hide. We can hide together. <laughs> Bro, I'm actually dying. I'm flopping like a fish in my bed and squealing. I'm gonna scare the neighbors. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't have the authorities called up on you. <laughs> but as a DM, you get to roleplay as a whole cast of NPCs and enemies. Yes, I agree, but that's that's already like that's like in in my mind at least. That's like writing a play. I like to be one that plays in the story, you know? I'm made for the stage, darling. I'm here to shine. So I have to be a player, you know? If you know what I mean by player. And <laughs> you got it? <laughs> you are a star. Aww. I'm a star! Please, I'm a star! <laughs> Sheena's having too much fun playing with us. Love it. Hey, I'm just playing the part. <laughs> you guys are allowing it. <laughs> Honestly, considering I had Ken and Ilya to have ADHD, he would get overwhelmed keeping track of so much info as a DM. Absolutely, yes. And as someone who highly thinks of having ADHD as well in their main life, yes. I cannot. I tried. Nope. Math? No. <clears throat> no, no, absolutely not. You don't have to be one, but respect. <laughs> yup. Being a DM with ADHD is so hard. I, you can just imagine. I tried. Nope. No, I, I, I cannot. I have the ideas, but then I have to keep track of all you know, the the stats and the numbers and the, the rules and I shut down. <laughs> I DM'd, but it was stressful and I needed so much prep work. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. Eh, yeah, math is nope. Yeah, no, no, you're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> okay, so let me hop off here. Okay, so just to just to wrap up everything, now that you have your love reading, join me on Discord to officially join the Hanged Man Guild. So everyone, if you haven't applied yet, either as a guild master or part of the guild, you better be there. I promise you, if we get the final results of the guilds and I see mine being empty, I'm gonna cry but just from my right eye so that you won't see it because it stays in the eye patch, okay? Just saying. Sorry, I can be very dramatic, but, you know. <laughs> Don't make Julian cry. You'd rather be in the thick of it. Yes, Woods. Exactly. You got it. I'm sorry, but I'll do everything for the Ajra Guild to win. <gasps> Draconish. I, you know what, you're nice enough. I, I can let that one slide, still. <clears throat> A little bit left out over here in the cold. <laughs> Get wrecked, well, okay, no, we're going straight up. <laughs> Ansel, thank you so much. <clears throat> All right, so just, just to make sure, um, if you don't know how to find the Discord, again, someone could either link it over here. Hey, Astrid Souls! Uh, someone can link it over here, or you just exit the story. You go and tap the little Discord icon button on uh, the part of the header, right in the home of the app. 
very easy to find. Don't forget to join the Discord to meet your other guild members, exactly. Let's play all together, guys. Okay, so... Let's see where we're at. <laughs> Hi, I can never sneak in. What do you mean? You're the glucose guardian. You cannot sneak in, like, we, we know you by now. Sorry. <laughs> but hey, how are you doing? Okay, so, um, everybody. I know that I said that we are going to have a giveaway by the end of this, but still, this is not the end of this. Uh, so you still have time to get the other goals. Just saying. Um, there's other gift cards that I can give away <clears throat> at the end of the stream. So we're still in time to get those. So how about I give you guys the opportunity to get the gift cards in the meantime and play a drinking game with me. How about this? Of course, if you are allowed, if you can consume alcohol responsibly, join me right now. I have my beer. Yes, I have my beer over here. Okay. I hope I won't be going through the entire thing. Because this is too much if you ask me. <laughs> but we're going to be doing a drinking game. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we're going to pick one random chapter from Julian's um, route. Completely out of nowhere. Sadly, I have no booze right now. You don't have to have anything that is alcoholic if you don't like it or if you cannot. You can have cranberry juice for all that I care. It's just for fun, honestly. You don't have to. It's a drinking game. So again, usually you use alcohol, but if you cannot, join me either way. Have water. It's a great excuse to stay hydrated, if you ask me, because get this. We're having a drinking game during a reading from Julian's route. So there's certain rules, right? <laughs> Let me tell you, I have some rules. So we drink every time that Julian flirts with the MC. We drink every time that Julian stutters or, you know, blabbers around like, uh, uh, <clears throat> like that. We drink every time that Julian blushes. We're going to get so drunk. For everyone who's using alcohol, we're getting so drunk. And for anybody that's having regular beverages, you're going to get so hydrated. <laughs> It's a win-win situation, if you ask me. <clears throat> um, and I'm still deciding on the fourth one. It's either when Julian raises his eyebrows in a, you know, flirty, quirky way. Or every time that Julian uh, snickers. I, I, I don't know. What are you thinking? <laughs> if the party is not like this, don't call me. <laughs> Oh, we're screwed. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a hard one. So you, you get to pick the last one. Let's see who comes up with the best one. You should consider my alcohol of choice. <laughs> Every time Julian self-deprecates. Oh, boy. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Now nah, we're drinking too much. <laughs> so I'm getting drunk as a skunk. Cool. Oh, yeah. No, we're going there. I agree with Draco go on. And so every time that Julian self de deprecates, is that it? So again, every time that Julian flirts with the MC, every time that Julian blushes, every time that he stutters or blabbers, and every time that he self deprecates, that's it. Who we? All right. <laughs> Pushes away the straight humor and grabs a mixer. <laughs> Grab your can, everyone. Okay. That's all. Doesn't seem much. Trust me. It's enough. If you ask me, it's enough. <laughs> we could have so many other rules, but it has to be based on Julian. Um, so I'd say that we have enough for now. <laughs> Cherry, thank you so much. I have a bottle of water. Stay hydrated. You're going to be... Bloom butterfly. You're going to be so hydrated at the end of this. Chocolate milk? Hey, yes! Oof. If you had some Baileys in that. Oh, so good. So every time Julian speaks, take a drink. Got it. 
I'm gonna be playing Drunk Baldur's Gate after this. Oh my god, I could just imagine the rules. Cream soda, ooh. Right, Bailey's is so good, especially with chocolate milk. Okay, so um, I'm grabbing my D20 and I'm going to roll from one to 20 to see which chapter we're reading. I know there's more chapters out there, but we play from one to 20. Yeah, no, I'd rather play this cream soda. The kids are screaming. I see that they're watching Paw Patrol. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's see which chapter we're reading. Oh, 13. Okay. So let's see what chapter 13 is. Um, okay, so wait. Uh, Julian. <clears throat> Uh, we have Juliana's route, we have, okay. The Arcana Julian route, and it's Lost and fa Oh, wait, I remember this one. Okay, I think I remember this one. Okay. All right. So, let me change the music. Let's see what we're going for. Let me just play something very casual for the meantime until we understand where we're at. Just like that. Okay. All right. So everyone, are we telling drug music just like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I kind of missed the rules when I was getting water. Okay. So I'm going to give you some time to, okay. Everyone grab your drink, drink of choice, alcoholic or not. It could be one of your choice. Um, it's a drinking game, so of course, if you want to go with alcohol, that's uh, your choice. But of course, drink responsibly. Other than that, hey, Country Fox. Other than that, we're doing a drinking game. So the rules are very simple. We drink during reading um, the 13th episode of Julian's Route. We're going to take a sip, and you determine how big... <laughs> Um, every time that Julian tries to flirt with MC, every time that Julian either stutters or blabbers, so being like, I, uh, <clears throat> just like that. Every time that Julian blushes, and every time that Julian self-deprecates or makes a mess out of himself of being like, oh my god, it's all my fault, oh my goodness, what do, why do you keep me around you, I'm not good for you, this and that. We're going to be either very drunk or very hydrated, which, if you ask me, it's a win-win situation. Just saying. Okay, everyone. So, let the games officially begin. You all have your drink? What do you have? <laughs> We're going to get drunk through half of the game. Watch. I'm going to do one episode, hoping that it will be enough. Water, earth, air. <laughs> okay, let's see. <clears throat> oh, wait. Why am I on episode 12? No, I want 13. Oh, there we go. A hairy situation. Okay, goodness me. Sorry. All right. Astro and Souls, thank you so much. Bringing up the goal, which, by the way, once I'll be getting on the system, you can see it better. Um, okay. All right, starting soon. All right, we still have time to get more gift cards. Just saying, okay? Just saying. One episode is plenty. Yeah, if you ask me, the rules are enough. All right, just, just reminding you real quick for anyone that is joining right now, um, this is the last chance for you guys to donate hearts to participate to the giveaway. Thank you so much, Egg, just like that. You can get to 1K Hearts goal to get $25 gift card to use on the Dorian store to get the official Akana merch. Just saying. Sigh, just like that. Thank you so much. And Gab, Gabs? Yeah. All right. Um, also, Astrid Souls, again, thank you so much. Also, with donating hearts, you can also ask me, ask Julian, anything. So if you have any specific question that you would like to shoot, go for it. Okay. Let's go, guys. 
All right. I hurry through the gardens, surrounded by bird songs. My mind buzzes with anticipation. Last night, some of Julian's missing memories return. One of the night of the fire, he was locked in a dungeon, researching a cure for the plague. By the time he got out of the Count's room, it was already aflame. He's innocent. He has been all along. Somewhere in the palace, that dungeon has its cure. I might even have evidence of his innocence. It was too late last night to start looking, so we agreed to meet with Portia at her cottage today. I can't wait to see him. And so we do. <laughs> as soon as I come into view, Julian leans out of the doorway, grinning. There's the man of the hour. Oh, I see a resemblance. <laughs> There you are. Get back inside before someone sees you. <laughs> Portia yanks him back into the cottage and safely out of sight of any passing guards. Oh, whew. MC, it's just you. Perfect timing. Come in, quick. We've got lots to do today. Portia's cottage is just as cozy and warm inside as it looks from outside. The large windows let in plenty of sunlight. Though today the curtains are drawn for privacy. A shovel with fresh dirt on the blade leans against the wall. As I shut the door behind me, Happy pots up from a pile of cushions on a chair, ears swiveling this way and that. Then she curls up again. She looks like she's sleeping, but one of her eyes is still open, watching us. That's a good kitty. That's a very really good kitty. Hey, Nix! <clears throat> Did you hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> Bloom, shush. <laughs> All right, some of my of my lady's sisters are arriving for the masquerade, so we should be dis she should be distracted. We gotta sneak Ilya into the palace and search until we find that dungeon. How exactly will I get inside? Another illusion, MC. Right, the Majulian. <laughs> This is right after the Majulian situation. <laughs> Remember? So silly, the Majulian. <laughs> Last time, the spell wore off too fast, and we almost got caught. Hmm, yes, that might make things difficult. Lucky for you, I already got a plan. Ian, you're hired. Uh come again is that considered stuttering or blabbering do we have to drink would you guys I, the, the, mm, not really but it is kind of right it is all right bottoms up everyone let's go oh this is nice ah i love ipa I'm trying to get drunk here. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, what? One of my favorite things in the game is Julian's grin on Audra's face when he was this guy. I know. <laughs> I love it so much. I told everyone that I brought in attempt to be, you know, oh, excuse me, MC's assistant for the day. Excuse me, sometimes I see my nickname because that's the feature on Dorian, so sorry, I got confused. So, for today, you're Ian. Ian? That almost as, it's, that's almost as bad as Jules, Pasha. Told you, I don't like being called Jules. Ever. Everyone's a critic. Portia pushes a bundle of clothes into Julian's arms. He has a servant uniform. I, uh, borrowed it from the laundress. I need to return this later, so make sure you get it back from the um to me undamaged and clean, okay? If anything's missing, you can probably find a spare in my closet. Oh, I almost forgot the finishing touch. Oh yes, I remember this. She scoops up three wigs from the table and adds them to the bundle of clothes. Pick whichever wig you want, just make sure it covers the right side of your face, okay? Now, 
A piercing squawk from outside cuts through the conversation. Oh, it's that terrible bird again. I swear, if he's messing up my garden, I'll... I'll... <laughs> Portia shoes Julian behind a wooden divider screen to change. I'll be right back. Behave, you two. Scowling thunderously, Portia grabs the shovel leaning against the wall and rushes outside. Cloth rustles behind the divider as Julian starts to get dressed. I sink into a comfortable armchair to wait. So, a uh, big day today, isn't it? And we have to drink again. <laughs> He's, I hate this already. He's going to be doing so much of this. <laughs> Here we go again. Are you guys drinking? Are you leaving me alone in this? You better drink. You better stay hydrated and be my drinking companion. Just saying. All right. <laughs> Glug. <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. I trust you on that one. All right. Brand new clothes. Lots of places to search. Answer to find. I don't have to see him to know that he's nervous, but he sounds excited too. We'll finally get some answers. Maybe some proof. Weather. Weather. <clears throat> Gosh dang it, Julian! <laughs> All right. <laughs> and here we go again. He clears his throat. I, oh! <laughs> and again! <laughs> Oh no, <coughs> we're not doing good already. I uh, I seem to be having some trouble. I think you can give me a hand, MC. <laughs> and my drink's nearly gone. Smaller sips, everybody. Smaller sips. Dura nada. Nah, dura nada. No es bueno. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go go with those after this. Smaller sips, everyone. His voice lilts flirtatiously. No, 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 wait, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I'm sure that if I could see him, he'd be winking. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> almost, almost a drink. But let me help. <laughs> this is an endurance race, don't sprint. <laughs> exactly, go easy, guys. We, we got all the story, don't worry. The episode is going to be long enough. Trust me. Uh, Kieran, thank you so much for the hearts. Almost 400 hearts away from the, the, the other uh, goal. And Ansel, thank you. Imagine if you had to do shots. No, no. Shots, way too much. Way too much. It would have been already four. And that would be it. That's it. That's where I draw the line. Four shots. That's it. <laughs> Poor <his> bar. <laughs> no! Astron salt. Easy. <clears throat> All right. A step behind the divider and stifle a laugh. Julian? Oh, no. <laughs> He's blushing. Cheers, mate. <laughs> and there we go. Julian has started getting changed, but he's tangled up in the uniform. I can't even tell how he managed it with such a simple clothes. You didn't seem to have any problems with your coat. That, that has snaps, you know, very quick to get on and off. Good thing that I said, you know, the rule of him snickering or just, you know, good, good thing, good thing. But is, no, wait, this is actually flirting. Fuck! This is flirting! Oh, fuck! Guys, this was such a bad idea. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I'm so glad the barbin is smooth. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. 
From his contorted position, he waggles his eyebrows at me, and this time I can help but laugh. <laughs> that sound. I love it. But, uh, fuck this. Fuck! <laughs> this is very canon, if you ask me. This is, this was a bad idea that only Julian could have. I love it. I'm already three quarters away. <laughs> Only two seconds. It was like, yeah, keep sipping. <laughs> but, uh, well, that is not to ruin the moment, but I really do want your help. Hold still. He bites his lip as I step in close, undoing the tangled uniform and helping me out of it. I turned the uniform this way and that, studying it. It's hard to figure out which way is up. It's trickier than it looks, isn't it? Let's take a look at one of Pasha's spare uniform. Figure out this thing. He strides to the humble armoire and flings open the doors. <coughs> Excuse me. Without an ounce of hesitation, he starts poking through Portia's wardrobe. Ruda! <laughs> hmm. She's got a lot of clothes in there. Ah, here we are. He whisks out a hanger with a spare uniform, holding it out in inspection. It's covered in cat hair. <laughs> Looks like Peppy's work bring out the texture of the cloth, doesn't it? I'll be sure to tell you you said so when she gets back. <laughs> now, now, let's not be hasty. At least wait until she puts the shovel down. <laughs> Chuckling, he prods at the uniform on the hanger. With a few deft mo movements, I untangle the uniform and hold it up for inspection. That looks about right. Say, MC, want to get more hands-on? It's so difficult to put on. You flirty little bastard, we have to drink again. <laughs> Guys, how are we holding? How are we doing? Where are my warriors? <laughs> ah, this was a grand idea, huh? How are we holding, guys? Talk to me. Are we still here? Going strong. Okay. <laughs> Keep it up. Sugar coma ink for me. Doesn't sound bad. Good. German constitution. <laughs> Fine so far. Drink, drink, drink. All right, all right. Still holding it strong. Good job, guys. He's teasing me again. His voice warm with affection. Of course, we're going to tease him back. Of course. I think I don't understand the concept of short sips. I finished the first can of beer. It's half she. <laughs> Lapis! Easy! I'm taking small sips because I know how many times I'll be drinking through this and it's already enough. Easy. If you think you can keep up your hands off of me. Oh, MC, is that a challenge? Grinning slyly at me, he slips on the uniform and holds it out his arms, inviting me closer. I start fastening the buttons, working my way down the column. This is nice, isn't it? Not just the whole dressing up and sneaking into the palace bit, but... He opens and closes his mouth a few times, as if it's a loss for words. His cheek flush, and he averts his eye. And we drink! <laughs> Bottoms up! Oh boy. That's my Friday night, honey. <laughs> can I just say, can I just say that I'm having fun, by the way? It's been a while since I had a drink. And of course, don't worry, I'm drinking responsibly. But it's been so long since I had a drinking game. And let alone, it was this fun when it involved anything that I liked, meaning something like Arcana. So I'm glad that you guys are doing this with me. Like, honestly, guys, thank you. <laughs> are you okay, though? All right. Well, I enjoy being with you. I want to hear you laugh. I want to see you smile. I want... 
I don't want to hide anymore. Aw, Julian. After we clear your name, you won't have to. <clears throat> you know, I, I think I like that very much. I love this part of the story because finally Julian is, fi you know, finding a new purpose. And you can see it blooming just here, and it's beautiful. I know, he's so sweet. <laughs> me, me too, it's so fun drinking with y'all. <laughs> good, good, alright. Keep it up, guys. The last button slips into place. Perfunctor perfunctorily, I tug on the hem and sleeves, making sure everything lines up. It sits well on his lean frame, despite being secondhand. Measurements are almost exact. He leans down so I can tie his cravat. His gaze wanders dreamily over my face, savor savoring the moment. I fluff the fabric and tuck the loose end on the cravat into his uniform collar. There we go, all buttoned up. Mwah. Looking very fine if you ask me, Julian. Didn't Portia give you some wigs too? Oh uh, yes, yes she did. I'm having such a hard time choosing, though. This part. Why don't you pick it up for me, MC? I separate the wigs, laying them on a side table and examining them. A blonde ponytail with a bow, a shaggy brown mane, and a short black wig. <laughs> okay. I played this so many times and I've explored every choice. But if you've been here, you know the right answer. If you've been here, you know the answer. So I'm just going to go blind. Like, I'm giving you guys the option to vote. But please, show me that you are true here on the fandom. Come on. Come on, guys. Yes. <laughs> yes! It's blind! Don't get me wrong. The black one was okay. The the brown uh looking weird. But the blonde one, The blonde one is a treat. Trust me. Look at this. I pick up the blonde wig. This one. Julian chuckles taking it off from me. Ah, excellent choice. Let me just Outside there's another shrill shriek followed by the sound of wind beats. And don't come back, you horrible bird! Hastily, I go back around the divider, leaning Julian to put, leaving Julian to put the finishing touches to his disguise. Portia bustles in, putting her shovel back by the door and dusting herself off. Oh, I hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Torch. Please don't tell me if I was. <laughs> We love a supportive sis that gives you lone time with your crush. We, we, I, I love this part of her so much. The complicity, it's like, you know. <laughs> I love you, sis. So, how's the fit, Ilya? Don't leave us hanging. Foreshadowing. Just saying foreshadowing something you know you know <laughs> this it, it, did you ever notice this by the way that she uses don't leave us hanging i want to think that this was actually made on purpose in my head that's a headcanon <laughs> voila what do you think <laughs> ah, just cannot win. He strikes a dramatic pose. <laughs> Portia and I exchange wide eyes looks and burst into laughter. It can't be that bad. <laughs> Can it? No, no, it's perfect. Nobody will suspect a thing. No, not at all. Everybody miss Trixie. <laughs> Trixie Mattel, everyone. 
Actually, I think that Junior would be amazing as Katya, if you ask me. <laughs> Katerina, Petrovna, Zamo Lachikova, but you're dead. Just calls me Katya. It's it, I see it. I see it. Please, someone do a fan art. I, I believe there's already some fan art over there. I don't know. Still snickering, she begin she beacons us to join her at the table. All right, gather around. This is the map of the palace. The map is hand drawn with notes and symbols scrawled onto it. Beside the normal hallways and rooms, it includes a number of secret passageways and hidden doors. Servants must use these to get around the palace faster. I've never seen a dungeon or anything like that, so it must be hidden somewhere. The palace is full of secrets, like hidden doors and magic portals. I'm sure there's more I haven't found yet. So we're、we'll、search one wing at a time. Stick together, but if we get separated, come straight back here. Ready? Let's go. We search the castle together, searching rooms and hallways as we go. We pass a dozen guest rooms, art galleries, storerooms, and more, all unlocked by Portia's keys. But we still haven't found the way to the dungeon. Portia stops in front of the elegantly, elegantly carved door with a prominent lock. Hang on, this will take a bit. The lock always sticks. While Portia struggles with the door, Julian leans against the wall. Well, I suppose hanging the dungeon entrance out in the foyer wouldn't be too easy. Suddenly, the panel he's leaning against swings open, and he falls through into a secret passage. How lucky can you be? That's like natural twenty in, in perceiveness, like percept perceptiveness, perceive. But it's like it complete out of nowhere. <laughs> An edit of Julian like caught you. <laughs> Please, someone do that. Ah,、oh, <laughs> there we go. The panel closes with a decisive click. That one wasn't on my map. Portia knocks on the panel, trying to figure out how to make it open, but it remains stubbornly closed. Well, I did say to go back to the cottage if we got separated. I just didn't think it'd be so soon. We pass the other palace staff in the hallways, but there's no sign of Julian among them. As we walk by, Portia calls out to a tall, slender servant dusting the baseboards. Clarette, have you seen a new face anywhere? Uh, he's that temp I brought in today. Answers to Ian. Haven't seen him. Sorry. Want me to go look? No, that's fine. If you do spot him, just let him know to meet up with me, okay? I bet he got lost in the pantry or something. I feel more worried with every room we pass. Could he have run a foul on a guard, or even the countess? Wait up until you see what happens. <laughs> His disguise is good enough to fool a casual observer, but would it hold up under close scrutiny? Wait, was that him? That's definitely Julian's voice coming from the salon. When we enter, my heart stutters in my chest. <laughs> oh my God, Julian! He's so wait, wait. Let me. There we go. Giving some more interactiveness to this. <laughs> you look fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> When we enter, my heart stutters in my chest. <clears throat> Beat them back with my sparkling wit and dazzling feet of plodding pugilism, <laughs> and yelping and howling, they drop their stolen souls and stagger it away. Julian is telling a story to a small audience. An orange-haired stranger in colorful robes perched in an armchair. A green-haired stranger listening attentively, and a tall, stern-looking blonde. Standing at the door, who looks thoroughly unimpressed. As I enter, the blonde turns to look at me, piercing golden eyes pinning me to the spot. Who are you? 
MC. That is, uh, uh, <clears throat> bottoms up. All right. He is wearing the outfit of the weird man. <laughs> I can't concentrate with the blonde wig. It's so funny. Imagine witnessing this in real life. Dennis, sir, thank you so much for the hearts. By the way, just reminding you guys once again that we are less than 400 hearts away from the other goal. I'm giving away a $25 gift card. So if we get to 1K hearts, I get to pick another winner. Come on, let's keep it going. All right. He clears his throat, bow, bowing deeply, excuse me, and sweeping his arm out in a grand gesture towards me and Portia. <clears throat> Announcing MC, the magician trusted by Countess Nadia herself. And Portia, the Countess Handmaiden. Oh, wise and fabulous magician. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the princesses Nazmira, Nahara, and Navra. Oh, Julian. He motions to each princess as he names them, before straining in with a flourish. We heard so much about you, MC. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Nahara inclines her head politely and returns to her post by the door. Oh, how wonderful. You have such a radiant energy. If Portia is startled by any of this, she doesn't show it. Her mm -hmm. smile is as bright as welcoming as ever. Is there anything I can get you? Maybe some refreshments? No, thank you. Ian told us how you came to the palace, MC. What a riveting story it was. I hope that you find that murderer soon. You must wait so heavily on Dee Dee's mind. Dee Dee. This is so cute every time that I hear it. I know this, but it's so cute. Dee Dee. <laughs> the pretty bird drinks a second glass of champagne. If I get drunk, then blame it all on Julian's wig. Damn. <laughs> I swear Julian drinks more at the pub than my dad goes in at all. <laughs> Can I call you Shin or Julian? You may call me Julian for today. Dee Dee? Could she mean? Julian shifts his weight uncomfortably, avoiding my eyes. Nadia bears a heavy responsibility. We're all so proud of her. I can't wait for the rest of our sisters to arrive. You should be here and just in time for the masquerade. Perhaps we still have time to redecorate. Portia mentioned that some of Nadia's sisters were arriving today. Now that I'm looking for it, I can see the resemblance. Sorry. There is a hair that is tickling me. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> oh, but Ian, please do tell us another story. It's very kind of you to entertain us while we wait for Dee Dee. <laughs> Nahara is like, he's making it all up. Shut up. <laughs> How long has, has he been here since we were separated? Of course, of course. Perhaps the most esteemable MC would like to sit with us for a while. <sighs> Honestly, I would play along. It's dangerous, but I like me some danger. Should we play along? I feel like doing that. Even though this is like one of the choices that gives you either the reverse or upright ending but yeah i mean why not <laughs> sure but sometimes it's good to give you know julian an ear tug just saying no but why is her sister so mean <laughs> oh okay we were unanimous in this one why not we'd be delighted to have you join us Come, sit down. Nazmira draws me down to sit next to her on the couch. Wonderful, wonderful. Perhaps you'd like to hear about the time I scaled the moon glow mountains. Or how about the month I spent modeling for the Aranzi? 
Lore, everyone, pay attention. This is actually something that could be featured in the quiz. Just saying. It's a trivia game, so... I've only heard rumors of Aranzi's sculptures. You must tell me more. Portia clears her throat sharply. <clears throat> oh, I hate to interrupt, but I'm afraid Ian, MC, and I actually have to go. We got a big day today. Lots of things to do. But I... I mean, yes, that's right. And that's him stuttering, so... Have a sip, everyone. Stay hydrated. <laughs> yep, there's going to be a trivia game. There's a quiz about um, the secrets and little details of every single love interest. The main six, of course. Where's my peach tea? <laughs> this blonde wig looks bad, but it seems like a lace front. Money, baby. <laughs> Yas queen. He coughs, shifting uncomfortably under Portia's disapproving gaze. <laughs> oh, of course. Thank you so much for entertaining us, Ian. Please don't let us keep you from your responsibilities. Good luck. Portia hustles us out of the salon. The moment the door closes, she rounds on us. Ilyushka, what were you thinking? You could have been caught. She keeps her voice hushed, but her frustration is clear. A melodic voice echoes down the hallway, and Portia cuts herself off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's Nadia. She must be around the corner. My eyes dart to Julian's face. His disguise is pretty good, but I'm not willing to gamble on it. If anyone could see through him, it would be Nadia. Quick, find a way out. I'll distract my lady. With a harried backward glance, Portia scurries down the hall and around a corner. The other direction leads to a dead end. I cast out my magic, hoping for a miracle. MC? What is it? I feel something, a tug in the back of my mind. I roll around. A few steps away is a decorative arch with a stone wall right behind it. But it's not just an arc. It's a it can feel magic. So subtle I almost miss it. Swirling over the wall. One of the portals Portia mentioned. I'm not sure what it lead, but we are out of time. I grab Julian wrist and pull him with me, right into the wall. Wait, wait, are you quite sure about the We tumble out of the portal and land in a tangled heap. Alright. Getting into the thick of it. Um, where is the one that you play in this part? Yes, this one. There you go. Julian sits up slowly, groaning. I look around, but his wig is nowhere to be seen. It must have fallen off when we went through the portal. Julian, the wig. He pats his head and frowns. Then, with a sigh, he fishes in his pocket from, for his eye patch. Well, it can be helped. Besides, my natural auburn suits me so much better, don't you think? I have to agree, Julian. I'll just have to be especially careful to avoid being spotted. Luckily thing, lucky thing, nobody else is here. Uh, speaking of here, is this... He blabbered. Let's go again. Bottoms up. Oh no, his marvelous design, divine wig, so sad. Yeah, we lost. We lost a good lace front, guys. Those are expensive. Don't lose them. I stare up at the portraits lining the walls, all featuring the same handsome blonde man, all with their eyes gouged out. An oppressive weight seems to press in all around us. I can't help but shiver. We're in Lucio's old wing. And it cuts off. Okay. I went through half a can, meaning 
a whole can of beer for one episode. And trust me when I say we were lucky it wasn't a spicy one because, oh boy, <laughs> we would have been drunk in five minutes. We were lucky. 13 lucky number this time. All right. <clears throat> okay, let me go full screen. There we go. We could be drinking in every sentence. Yeah, no. It, it would have been impossible. I feel like I would have to use maybe other two. <laughs> Scary Care Bear, thank you so much. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to make it for another go. We're way too far away from it. Um, but that's okay, because I'm actually announcing two other winners uh, tonight. So one winner is going to have the giveaway for a $15 gift card. Um, the other one, we are announcing the uh, winner for um, the Love Quest um, Instagram Stories thing. Um, okay, so give me a second. Because I need to get you guys out here. Thanks for the fun drinking. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for joining me, honestly. Uh, it it would have been fun if it's just me, but you guys decided to join, which made it even better. So, uh, let me see here. Okay. So, I'm going to remove a couple people from here like Azzy and Julia themselves in the Arcana. Okay, so we're having one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, eleven, nine, nine, fifteen, seventeen, sixteen, oh, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five. Okay. So there's 29. 29 patrons to choose from. Okay. So I'm going to get the random picker over here. Where is it? Um, number randomizer. <clears throat> okay, so from 1 to 29. Ready, everybody? Okay, so I am going to generate the number out of 29 of us because remember to enter giveaways you have to donate at least once so good luck everyone let's see who gets it <clears throat> number 23 so let's see who's that roll the drums in the meantime roll the drums so we have uh-huh uh-huh All right, I got the winner. Y'all ready? So, drum roll everyone. So the winner of $15 gift card to use on the official Dorian store for official merch for the Arcana is, y'all ready with me? Cherry underscore X eggs. Yay! Congratulations! Oh, I don't know how to get hearts. It's very easy. You can either purchase them or you can collect them. You can share your Dorian link to your friends and whoever downloads the app from that, you get hearts from it. But congrats, Cherry XX. Are you here? Are they here? If not, it's okay. You're going to get in contact with the Dorian team. You're going to get your, your gift card. That's fine. All right, everyone, then I have to pick the second winner. And this is from the Instagram stories, social media thing for the love quest. Um, so I have a list over here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, goodness me. Oh, 
Okay, okay, so I have a document. Okay, oh, okay, I got it. Okay, yeah. There we go. Just got it. Okay, so we have, oh my god, we have so many. We have so many people took place into this. 87, okay, 87. So I'm going to call out the Instagram username, okay? So if you did take place in the whole uh, social media um, extraction from, you know, the Arcana Instagram account, I'm going to call you out of your Instagram nickname. Um, so if you recognize it and you're here in the chat, please come forward. Otherwise, you're going to get in contact with the Dorian team regardless. Okay, so it's 87. All right. So let's go. Let's see who's getting this. 78. Okay, so number 78 is... Let me go and open up. Can my PC do this? Yes. Okay. So, the winner of the, the Arcana Instagram challenge social media thing is Bittersweet Flower Boy. Yes! Congrats! They're also on Discord. So maybe we can find him over there as well. Yay! Congrats, everyone. I don't know if they're here. I don't know. If they are, come forward. If not, never mind. We're going to see you around. You're going to get contact in um, from the Dorian team. So you can take your who won. Um, Bittersweet Flower Boy. That's their Instagram handle. Uh, mind you, if you didn't know, uh, the price was to have $50 gift card for the Arcana merch store. Um, and it was happening on social media on Instagram. So guys, you better always check Instagram and social media, either for the Arcana or from Dorian, because there's a lot of things that you're missing. If there's any competition, there's any giveaway, any chance to win anything going on, you want to know. So you better check that, okay? Um, it's very easy. You just need to follow the uh, the rules and just follow the page, and that's it. Okay. All right. Everyone, this was amazing. I hope that you guys had a great time. I surely did. Um, I hope that you guys got all of your questions out because, again, you better remember and learn the more that you can if you are going to compete either as a guild master or just part of the guild for the Arcana Love Quest games. Trust me when I say this is going to be so fun because it's going to be the same formula that we had for the latest games with Mary to the Alpha. What happened was that we have an event that holded trivia games um, based on the story Mary to the Alpha, a IP that is going right now on Dorian. Um, and we had trivia games, we had um, the guild masters battling friendly of course between each other but it was so nice to see them going off um and uh, you know their guild so their group participating within them it, it was amazing i wish i didn't have to eat <laughs> oh no it was great thank you so much for the stream not at all thank you so much for joining guys always appreciate it and hey i wish luck to anyone who is going to compete for either guild master or just together with their guild and ultimately I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy this event because I know that I will. So you're going to see me as your host next time. Um, officially, the rounds are starting soon next week. So you better pay attention to how everything is going to unfold. I hope that you guys are going to join my live stream where I'll be the one hosting the games. Um, because again, you can participate even if you don't want to take part in a guild. If you still want to be part of the game, you can just come over, play together, and you still can get to win prices. Remember, there's hearts and there's gift cards as prices. And ultimately, if you decide to become the guild master and you win the ultimate price, 
You become a character in the Winter Ball tale together with your favorite love interest, and you win your favorite love interest 3D figurine. That like like there's so much at stake, guys. So I hopefully I I hopefully feel that you're gonna be around and have fun and just you know. The questions were fun. I had a, a good time. I hope that I was, you know, enough in character, and I stayed true to the character enough. So I hope I did a good job on that. I surely did with the alcohol. I can tell you that. <laughs> But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I hope you're going to enjoy more about this event. Um, again, thank you so much for all the hearts, for all the good times, all the questions, all of you guys, beautiful words, and just really good company. Really. It was amazing. Thank you so so much. I found that you impersonate Julian perfectly. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. It really means a lot. Komori, thank you so much for the hearts. All right, everyone. Um, I'm going to shut this down. Um, just reminding you that I'll be live again this Sunday together with my dear friend Reva. We're going back at more Ozra for Julian content. So just saying, if that's your thing, please come over and join us. Um, other than that, I'm going to see you guys directly for the event next time. So you better check the schedule on Dorian to make sure that you see my stream. Click the bell so you get notified, and I'll see you there. Other than that, guys, I wish you all a good night. But depending, it could be good morning, good afternoon, lunch, breakfast, sna snack, snake. I was about to say snake. No, <laughs> Faust. No, um, snack, dinner, whatever you're having. Please enjoy it because you deserve it so so much. And uh, if you still have your drink, finish it up. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Love you.